you know and, and, and because of this prayer team a lot of christians they they, they compromise quality they compromise quality they compromise professional skills in the name of prayer they believe that prayer can replace professional skills so most of the quacks are christians most of the quacks if you want to see quackerism if there's english like that quackerism is among christians quackerism engage an unbeliever in a project he would deliver professionally engage a brother in the church he will use church language brother you know the devil is fighting i am working hard but there are these demons i can't tell where they are coming from they are fighting me from completing the project an unbeliever does not recognize demons so he knows i must deliver on thursday otherwise i will be arrested by police he delivers but the believer knows that if i keep calling demons he can extend the thing for me he tells i don't know i had a bad dream last night in the dream they sat on my waist and since that dream everything is not working bro bro please understand i have discovered some of the worst people to engage in the secular are believers it's not because we can't pray it's because we have we have spiritualized natural things you say you're a tailor they give you cloth you cut everything join join everywhere as if ants have ate the cloth and then you're angry that somebody is angry you say you're a shoemaker you make sure that when somebody wear he has to stand like this because the, the toes cannot enter because you didn't measure the size well you should trust her for me to wear and come service after i wear the trouser i'm walking like this because if i move like this it will tear so when i'm preaching i just say the lord bless you you know as i'm saying right now there is anointing here the anointing is too much i can't stand well it's a lie the trouser is <laughs> if i open my leg it will tear service will close so i have to be limping like like <laughs> Touch your neighbor say what you do do well i'm well. traveling one of my drivers we're going to preach and most times that's when i'm able to sleep when we're going to preach on the road i just sleep and because when i get there is fire fireworks i don't so i rest while traveling and i was sleeping i just woke up and i heard him struggling in the bush with the car <laughs> even the car they were struggling me i was sleeping it's not me that was struggling it's him and the car they were struggling even though i was inside but where i was there was no struggle it's him and the car they were zoo, zoo, zoo. then me i was lying down so i said what is it he said i don't understand the car is just <laughs> i said it's a lie you slept <laughs> it's a lie don't spiritualize it you slept he said no the car just is not response i said it's a lie stop that tell the truth and be free you slept and by the time you woke up we have entered bush then you and the car started fighting he said no sir i said okay get to mechanic let's find out what happened to the car so we got to mechanic and this mechanic was not even a christian i could tell from his behavior i told, I told him come on mechanic the, the car entered bush by itself he said maybe it's the thyroid he said okay confirm is it he then unbeliever entered the car with boldness fia, 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 fia. he drove the car and drove the car did everything with the car the car is okay he said the car is balanced but if you want we can lose it i said no don't lose enter car let's go till today we have used that car for close to one year they have not touched anything inside but that day that day evil spirit entered the car we enter bush the guy slept but now i wake up he's spiritualizing everything i don't know what happened it's like a demon sat on the leg so as i'm touching break the guy is not catching break see that's your problem as christians we we spiritualize things that we should deal with physically applying natural laws Kefla Dollar said he invited a pilot to come and fly him. And then before flying his jet, he interviewed the pilot. And he said to the pilot, hey pilot, you're, on, you're undergoing an interview right now. I own the aircraft and I want to find out if you can fly me. Let's say for example that um, the, the weather forecast says the weather is not good. And the, the, the trans air, air transport controllers tell us not to fly because the weather is very bad for flying. And then I say to you, we have to go because I must preach. What will you do? He said, I will just speak in tongues and begin to pray and fly you. Grefflo said, get out, you're fired. Next. <laughs> Me, the man of God, I didn't speak in tongues. Then you, driver, will speak in tongues. See your head. You want to go and kill yourself. Get out. Next. The brother thought he has, he will convince the man of God. I said, I just pray in tongues. I didn't hire a pilot to pray in tongues. I hired a pilot to read instruments. 
and read weather and find a way of navigation that's why you're hired praying in tongues is secondary your primary assignment is to read instruments and know how to navigate but now instead of doing your work you want to do my work i am the one praying i am the pastor you are the pilot yes, do your pilot i do my prayer we arrive so you enter the cockpit and the plane will be going towards the ground and you're busy speaking in tongues i'm teaching here i'm helping a lot of matters here you go for interview they say two times two you say wait first father in the name of jesus what is the answer <laughs> and that's why unbelievers that give themselves to their profession and their skills they come out with inventions that shake the world they come out with inventions how do you beat the technology called the I ipad iphone technology how do you beat that how do you beat the facebook idea that has that is shaking the whole world people are using facebook to overthrow countries of nations and yet those ideas didn't come to tongue talkers it came to people who have understood that this natural world i'm here to subdue it so i must find a way to solve the problems of the society they engage their minds in productive reasoning you when you should be reasoning you are doing 12 midnight prayer every day 12 midnight prayer the time you should think and create things you're using it to be praying so you are poor as if you are the only one satan is after every night once you have a color if you fly across this roof fire 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 kerosene shh, petrol shh, 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 shh. cigarette lighter fiat, 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 so that fire will be catch it <laughs> it is called prayer some of you are looking at me is that the way you pray every midnight say evil spirits are flying around where are now is it only are you not ashamed you a christian cannot sleep you are busy doing shh. your neighbor is an unbeliever he's sleeping Sound. sleeping with dream snoring the whole house that because of depth of sleep you you are busy shh, shh. and then as he's snoring you also do shh. <laughs> it's an indictment i'm teaching here if you're hearing me say i hear you when believers are sleeping well you you can't sleep meanwhile god that is watching you does not sleep nor slumber then you yourself that is supposed to be watched over you are not sleeping or slumbering which can life be this today i'm just trying to bring it practical as much as possible and deal with practical situations so you know how to apply what i'm teaching you praise the lord this is not a matter of prayer it's a matter of men engaging their brain understanding the capacity of the human mind and getting it to work i'm teaching here look it has nothing to do with prayer dangote stood up and said i'm going to deal with cement issues in africa that's a man that didn't pray he just stood up and saw the problem of cement and started dealing with cement problem and he is advancing it from country to country solving cement matters nobody prayed nobody's praying for him to do that he's just engaging his brain you have written you bring his church for prayer say prayer request your book the book cannot carry it. your own pray for my leg that is trying to be old pray for my waist that is wobbling pray for my eyes pray for uh, everything everything pray for pray for everything your prayer request has no end even after we collect you submit you carry another paper and write and say i'm sorry Add the, attach it <laughs> attach it endless prayer points is religion that has caused all these things what did i say religion is wicked is wicked it's a slavery system that denies you the privilege of thinking religion it denies you the privilege of thinking it makes you a zombie it's what they tell you you do you can't think you can't be a person of your own i'm teaching here religion is wicked 